Are you serious? Are you serious? You know, let's talk about the pale horse rider just for a moment. I want to read what it says in Revelation 6. And then I have a poem I want to read by Alexander Davis. The Bible says in Revelation 6, it starts to talk about this fourth horse of the apocalypse. And it says these words in Revelation 6, verse 7. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, come and see. And I looked and behold, a pale horse. His name that sat on him was death and hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword and with hunger and with death and with the beast of the earth. It's a very powerful, powerful passage of scripture referring to the pale horse in the book of Revelation. There's a book out by Alexander Davis called Apocalyptic Poetry. And he has a poem in here that's quite fascinating. He wrote this poem on April 23rd, 2011. It says, How many millions have to die before we will open up our eyes? It seems the whole world has become insane. Radiation is coming down in the rain. Don't eat the produce. Don't drink the milk. Beware, death is also in the fish. Is the mushroom cloud the final fate of man? We are tearing down the house in which we live. Do we think we can rape and murder and pollute and still escape the hangman's noose? Our fate is sealed and set in stone as our destruction hastens on. Will the end come with the cry of millions dying due to the spread of drought and famine? Will all life end with blinding flash or with the plague engineered in a research lab? If you were forced to choose, which would it be, pestilence or radiation? Will nature be the one to do us in or will we be destroyed by our own hand? Will our demise be slow and agonizing, or will it be fast and decisive? Will there be anything left to save, or will the earth become a massive grave? These powerful and evil men are determined to usher their new world order in, but somehow they think they will be immune to the horrors they plan for me and you. Is there any way to stop our slide into this worldwide suicide? Are we doomed to reap what we have sown as the pale rider thunders on? A powerful poem. Again, this is written by Alexander Davis. The title of his book, Apocalyptic poetry. And uh, I've had several conversations with Ale uh, Alexander Davis, and uh, I find him to be a fascinating man uh, with his comprehension of biblical scripture and tied to his poetic uh, dissertation is just incredible. But it really is a question. Do we understand? I mean, when the Bible puts in there a fourth writer of, a, of the apocalypse, are we really ready? Do we really believe what the scriptures actually say? We're living in the last days. Give your life to Jesus Christ, and I'm very serious. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time. Don't miss today's live broadcast. It starts at 12 noon Eastern. You can watch it on my backup channel. I will share some more poetry from the apocalyptic poetry of Alexander Davis. Time is running out. Go to my backup channel. I'll put the link in the description and right in the comments. Click on it. Don't miss it. I'll be live on my backup YouTube channel 
The name of that channel is Paul Begley Prophecy. Also, you can watch me live on a uh, new live stream, Periscope, my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com. Um, so certainly, and, new, and uh, Roku Satellite Television. And of course, the archives will be on this channel as well later. Okay, God bless.